right, so we have Jeremiah asking, if we can do a scale on footwear like we all did with the vests and jackets. Do you remember doing a scale? scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you mean like discussing casual, casual to, all the way up formal. to formal? Yeah. Sounds like Jeremiah was watching last month. I'm honored <laughs> and impressed. Um, it was a couple months ago we did the, the scale where we actually had the... That's true. We did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think we touched we touched on jet. No, it was warm flares we did last month. Yes. Okay, so a scale <coughs> of footwear from casual yes. to formal. Now, are we talking like barefoot all the way up to the the beloved? Just kind of throw up there, buckle brogues. I, or are we obviously talking? those are the two ends? So when we do when we do this graph, we'll put a graphic. We'll put up a pair of feet over here. And buckle brogues over here. Where's my hand? There we go. Buckle brogues over here. Yes, with yeah. a with a with a small icon of me mm -hmm. ready to vomit on the buckle brogues. Mm -hmm. um, buckle brogues are you know white ties, super duper fancy, and they're dumb. Hate buckle brogues. Don't <sighs> care. Don't care. Hate all you want. Okay. Don't like buckle brogues. Mary Jane's baby. Okay, so the middle is the challenging part. Yes. I mean, obviously at the very very low end you've got sneakers, right? Which we don't. Always recommend, I, but plain sneakers can work. I would say right. you can go even lower than that. And Sandals. That's kind of like like how how horrible do you want to be? Do you want to wear sandals with your kilt? That's that's ultra casual. That's like just fresh out of the shower at a at a college dorm. The the uh, you want to share flip flops? Yeah, well, yeah. close enough. Same thing. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so. Yeah, I don't know. There's 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 not like a, a formality scale in the same way. It's kind of like what yeah, goes I don't know with if it, I don't know if there's a formal there there's there are certain things that are better for formal for sure. They're definitely formal shoes. Um, the sliding scale, I would say, if I were gonna try and put this together in my head, it would start with not counting sneakers. Um, but start maybe, with sneakers. Okay, all right. I'll start with sneakers. Down on my end, sneakers. Sneakers right here. and then right there. Combat boots. Right, H combat boots slash. There's a lot uh, of overlap. Hiking slash, boots. Hiking boots, ropers, yeah. um, and then ropers without the fringy thing. I don't like the fringy thing. And then um, then you get into, um, you know, Oxford wingtips. Yep. Wingtips, okay. Oxford shoes. Yep. Chuckas. No, wait. Chuckas should be here and then Oxford wingtips. Agreed. Chuckas and then walk, Oxford Agreed. wingtips. Some fancier hiking boots that are a little dressier can kind of split the difference. I tend to yeah, I tend to refer to those as walking boots. What about Tim's? What about Timberlands? They're down they're down there with the hiking work, boots. And, like work boots kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, they're okay. down there with the combat okay. boots and hiking boots. They're kind okay. of on a part. And then so anyway, I'm, in the middle we got like the what was I saying? Chuckas. Chuckas. And then regular Saxon dress shoes. Dress dress shoes. Okay. Easy for you to plain, say. Plain plain dress shoes. Then I would go um the saddle straps. What do they call those? Would you, would you wear that with a kilt, though? I wouldn't, but some people do. I don't think they're necessarily bad, but they're not great either. I think it's bad. And then I would go to uh, brogues, Saxon-type brogues. Brog any brogues meaning mm -hmm. shoes with a bunch of little like patterned holes in them. Which is called broguing. Yes. And then uh, after that, I would go up to ghillie brogues. Okay. And then at the end of that, I would have the buckle brogues. I think the one thing that's an exception is that I don't think anybody wears like high polish um, patent, leather. patent leather shoes yeah. with Highland wear. It's too shiny and too plasticky looking to the modern eye. I don't think that's something people do. Whereas, yes. you know, for a tuxedo or for military formal dress, you you still will have like patent leather shoes. But I'm not sure many people do that for Highland wear, do they? No, I haven't seen it. I don't yeah. think I want to see it. So, um, The other thing I will point out is brown versus black. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. So, Gilly Brogues, you can get brown or black. So, brown, we're going to slide here ish mm -hmm. on your imaginary invisible scale okay. that will eventually appear. Oh, just wait until you see the Venn diagram. It's oh, going to get worse. Phew, Jesus. Um, and then the black Gilly Brogues slide up a little bit more. Yeah, so, they're they're little... they cross over. Cross over a bit? Yeah, you can wear black Gilly Brogues dressed down, but you, it's harder to dress the brown ones up too yeah. much. Brown pair beautifully with tweed. Um, mm -hmm. And I would say this, more and more people, Scotland and America, are wearing tweed jackets and dress as their dress choice. Um, I won't say formal, because it's not formal, although they're going to call it formal. Some people might, because um, yeah, no. it means just super dressy 
for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it's not really formal by a traditional definition. They think it's formal because they mostly wear jeans, jeans and, and a t-shirt. T-shirt. Yep. Jinx. <laughs> Buy me a Coke. Um, yeah, and, and there is more or of a, a in facts in yeah in Saxon world there's more of a trend now for guys wearing uh, brown shoes with um, high end, higher end suits. That's that's very trendy right now. Yep. You know, it's very navy it's camel, and colors like that. Yeah, yep. yeah, and it's like you know, not oxbow, you know, like a, a camel kind of a yep or tweeds. Brown. Tweeds are yeah. hot, you know, out of Highland wear as well as in Highland wear. Yeah. So. But I think I think that's basically it. It's basically the 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 buckle brogues are the very high end. Ninety percent of the guys we know are going to go with um, gilly brogues as their most formal choice. Yep. But Agreed. but it it can it can vary. And then Max said, "Well, the audience is also chiming in with uh, where do cowboy boots fall? Where do they fall off the edge of the world <laughs> when it comes to Hollywood?" We're, um, we're, to, we're gonna have to repeat a couple of mantras here. But go, the that, what uh, else? the Crocs, which then we could go into <laughs> the the what about th- Gilliators. That's right. Go right into those. Gilliators, yes. Um, Gil- Gilliators are strictly a pipe band thing. They're really not meant for civilian dress. <laughs> oh, not meant. For or those anyone. Welling. You ever see the Wellingtons? They're painted to look like to look like Gilly Brogues. I think Kelly has a pair. <laughs> or I've seen them for. Sale I have. Almost. I have a picture of them. Yes. So we'll put it up. But. Um, yeah, I'll go on record as saying again that I think there's a lot of elements of Western wear that will go with a kilt, but not the boots. The boots just don't do it for me. I'll go they're on just, they're so no. chunky, and then you have your leg, and then you have the kilt. It's just the shapes just don't mesh for me. I will but, say this. The other thing I don't like about cowboy boots is they're out from the leg. You can't tighten them That's kind of what I mean. It's because, the leg. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. very cylindrical looking. You know, yeah. They're very rectangular, cylindrical looking guy. Yeah. I don't, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. The um, now here is the question, the 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 overarching question, the, the burning question in my soul, burning pun there. You'll see why. Ah. <clears throat> if you burn a pair of Crocs, does it burn like a tire fire forever, <laughs> or does it eventually extinguish? You really want is, me to do this? Is it as bad for the environment as a tire fire? <sighs> see, I had to bring up the environment. I know. See, now I want I to burn a pair, but I'm going to feel guilty if I do. I want to do this for science, but... Uh... <laughs> like yeah. burning an acrylic killer. The, uh, the, the, the horrible sporns and things. That we... Oh, we should make, we should yes. make like a wicker man out of horrible kilt accessories. Like an acrylic kilt, some I Crocs. Kinda do this. We, we kind of need to have like a big burning festival in the backyard of the shop on you know, the winter solstice. Forget mm. Phoenixville, the Phoenix burning of the bird thing. No, the Phoenix, Phoenix We're gonna make our own, festival. Like, yeah. Bring your horrible Highland wear that shouldn't exist, and we'll burn it in the back. You shouldn't. You, people will take you up on that. You're gonna have people mailing stuff, stuff and asking if they can come. Dancing and... around the fire. All right, fair enough. Like I might just do it myself. Let me let me give a throwaway to my to my Western peeps with the cowboy boots. I don't. I'd say the cowboy boots. Obviously, the fancier the boot, the more formal it's gonna be. If you're just wearing a pair of um, you know, a pair of work boots, straight up black, you know, boots, then that's going to be less formal. But if you're paying $500 for a pair of hand-stitched, you know, in, you know, worked leather boots, that's going to be more formal. I just, I don't think it should go with a kilt. I wouldn't say more, for, it's more formal in the than sandals, but it's not formal. You don't wear those boots every day, I know, man. I know, it's, to some me, guys, like. Some guys do. But. I, I appreciate the art of cowboy boots. I appreciate the expense of cowboy boots. I know Mm -hmm. people who own very, very expensive cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. Um, I think (laughs) Max pointed to himself. The um, I think where the disconnect for me is the the need to. I own this thing and it's expensive, so I need to wear it. And I own this thing and it's expensive, so I need to wear it. I'll wear them together and be super fancy. Yeah, it's that's where it. It, it butts into each the other. More for me. is more a mistake. Yes, kind of. It's the more is more. It's the I want to wear all my fun stuff, hmm. and under potentially either under the guise of I spent a lot of money, so I want to wear it, which I fall into the trap as well, as well as the I want to represent all the things all the time at the same time, and it's a in my mind it's a bad trap to fall into where you're you're trying to do too many things all at once. I know I'm going to sound like snob. I don't care. As you will, my lord. Eric's like, yup. Okay. Fair enough. So into the lesson. Indeed. Oh. 
Have you ever obsessed over the details of your outfit as much as you do now that you've gotten into Highland wear? Let us know in the comments what your go-to shoe is. Go-to shoe? Your go-to shoe for kilting. In the meantime, please subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Walk proud, guys.